Though Taiwan solar panels only make up less than 20% of the world solar panel market, their high quality make them very competitive. However, currently the global market is coping with oversupply due to China's decision to get into the market. Also, by cooperating too closely with China, Taiwan has found itself on the receiving end of the anti-dumping duties levied by the U.S. government. We find out how the industry is facing these challenges in our next report. The autonomous assembly line of this solar cell manufacturing plant operates 24 hours a day. One of the stations will simulate sunlight, and a sensor will press down on the cells to test their photovoltaic property and photoelectric conversion efficiency. The production of solar cells demands precision engineering, and Taiwan currently produces 17% of the world's solar cells. On the top are silicon rocks that we have bought. Most of them are recycled. They will be placed inside a furnace to be melted down, so silicon crystals can be grown. These glistering rocks are the raw materials of solar cells. The cutting of a grown crystal has to be done manually. Solar cells have to be put together to form a solar panel. He is making sure the panels are soldered properly and tightly. The manufacturing of solar panels demands the integration of traditional industries high-tech engineering and manufacturing. However, the world's solar power industry only bloomed from 2005 to 2010. After the industry tanked, even TSMC decided to shut down its solar manufacturing operations. Before the global financial crisis, the industry was already wobbling because China kept on increasing their production capacity. With the backing of their government, these companies had low overhead. As they upped their production, the whole supply and demand curve of the market became unbalanced. In 2010, the price for panels fell lower than the current price. It took several years for prices to recover. A 250-watt solar panel used to fetch about 640 U.S. dollars on the market before China came into play. But the price dropped to 140 U.S. dollars afterwards, which meant a 70% drop in revenue. But the real trouble was that the U.S. International Trade Commission declared that anti-dumping duties will be imposed on solar panels from Taiwan starting this past January. A lot of components produced in Taiwan are sold to China to be assembled into the final product, which is then sold very cheaply to the EU and the US. The US government felt this hampered its domestic solar power industry and decided to impose anti-dumping duties. Taiwan's solar power industry hopes the government can continue to maintain an open dialogue with the US government on this issue and at the same time is establishing new plants in other Southeast Asian countries. We're helping manufacturers of the industry cope by tackling four aspects. First is to find a new final export point. Second is to provide technical assistance. Third, we encourage these manufacturers to move abroad. And fourth, we will help them secure loans because they might need capital to set up new plans. Though things may look grim for now, Taiwan's solar power industry still remains competitive globally. We have one major advantage over others because we are supported by the world's leading semiconductor industry. Taiwan grows excellent silicon crystals. Good crystals can higher photoelectric conversion efficiency. Whether or not Taiwan's solar power industry can survive this harsh winter will ultimately depend on the efforts of both the government and the businesses themselves.